Hi everyone. Welcome to NX seven DX. Okay, welcome to November X3 Sun Delta X3. Alright, we're gonna make the introduction uh, introduction of the uh Meritron AL twelve hundred <clears throat> just acquired uh this amplifier and uh we open it up to double check uh, everything is looks good from the inside out and uh, we're gonna look on the inside also we do have the Henry amplifier over there 2KD classic let's see if we can see clear There we go. It's a TKD Classic Henry Amplifier. And we also got the uh, LK 500 Sulu uh, 10 to 160. Very compact. Very good uh, amplifier, also very efficient. Having him for the last, I've been having him for the last four years, and it's been phenomenal. So if you can gra grab one of those, and it's in good shape, everything, get it. You won't be sorry. All right, got the Pro Two over there. I mean Pro Three, and we got the Pro Two on the other station, on the other setup station over there. And each station has their, her, their own ID. Station 2, and this is a station 1. Got our own license plate ID. Anyway, we're gonna go back here to LK AL 1200. I love the sun. <laughs> All right, look like uh, so you guys, you guys can see everything looks very nice and clean from the front. I'm gonna go back uh, inside here. We got some little. Let's see if we can give you an idea of what they look like. Hopefully, if uh, you got any issues with the Henry, uh, with the AL twelve Henry, I'll give you a real close look from all the areas and all the connections, just to see where everything is going. We never know when you can use some of this information. Now we're going to the back side over there of the power supply. Got the relay. You got this charger switch here. Discharge the high voltage. Okay, I'll give you a little bit more input into all those connections over there in case you need to get some information any troubleshooting and we're gonna dig 
deeper inside see what happened there hopefully that's close enough to give you a little idea on some of those connections and get any more inside there be patient it's trying to focus okay that's the area give you an idea where we're we looking at I'm gonna back a little bit now we're gonna go a little more deeper inside on the back side of the power supply all right now we're coming down at the bottom of the power supply and we got some more some more connections there so the power supply wires in there how'd they go where did they go if you follow those connections you know where to put it on hopefully that was long enough let you know where did they go okay now we're coming into more little details on a amp there's some of those little <clears throat> wires going across over there try to put enough linings to make sure uh, everything was clear down here Okay, let me see right there. Give you another photo shot from that area. Make sure everybody can see with details where did they go, where every wire is probably connected. Oops, sorry about that. Changing the position on the camera. Put you a little bit more inside there. Some more details. I'm sure by the time you see finish with this video, you will know what to do with an amplifier. You will know how to uh, uh, build a your own amplifier. Hi hi. Okay, all this little light, there are just four, four little lights for the meters over there. Don't mind the noisy timeout. Okay, going back on the other side. Sorry about that. <coughs> going on the other side. Let's just start from the top of the amp. Let's back a little bit. Okay. That's the other side. That's the other side of the amplifier. You got uh, all the switches for the band and the tuning and load. And you got the big baby over there too. Use a 3CX 1200 Alpha Delta. As you can see, it's a big baby. It's a beauty. <laughs> okay. You get an idea. Some connections at the bottom where the switches they go. And another connection here, right over there. Let me go real slow. 
from the bottom, from the top, give you an idea. More or less how the connections are done. Back a little bit. Getting a little more closer, give you an idea what exactly connections they look like. Right over there, let's get it from the top. Like that, you can figure out where it's gonna be top this band over there. And another idea where this one's they are top. Count one, one, two, three, four, five, four, five, six, on the four and six. You got one connection on the last one, you got another one. Give an idea what's going on there. And you got the ball from the back side. It's gonna be a little difficult. Try to do my best. Give you good lighting. Okay, also we got some tappings on this coil here, in order to do the inductance, you see there is one at the, at the bottom, bed, all the way to the bottom, that's for, I don't know which band, sorry I couldn't, can I get to that one, maybe from this side, no, Sorry. Okay, trying to do my best. Not enough space to squeeze my big camera in there. And then we got the tuning back there. Here an idea on some of the connections they're going in there also. Some of these connections they're going down here. Right there. Come and appear in there. Anyway, so go to the last section here, the blower. Capacitor over there. All right. I think uh, that's pretty much it. And in the back side, everybody knows too. It's the relay connection, ALC connection, the relay adjustment. That I mean the ALC adjustment uh, antenna in. Radio in, antenna in, RF in, that is RF out, and ground connections in the back side. Well, I think uh, that's pretty much it. Hopefully, this uh, AL 1200, 1200, 1500, and uh, I think the 82, the 800, pretty much almost the same design. So you're looking at the one you're pretty much looking uh, to all the the rest of the Ameritron amplifier uh, full power 1.5k. All right, thanks for watching. Let me know if the please leave a message if the video helped you on something. Uh, taking care of the your amplifier.
looks pretty clean and uh, so we're back here to saying goodbye thank you for watching from November X-ray 7 Delta X-ray from Western Washington 73 all thanks for watching